This lesson is on factors and multiples. Little introduction. Some of this should be review. Okay, so we have factors and we have multiples. Let's take a look at the number 10, for example. So when we're looking at a factor, we are looking and a multiple. We are asking what are the factors or the multiples of a particular number. So in this case, 10. I put factors here and multiples here on purpose because multiples are always bigger than the number or they actually start at that number and then get bigger and factors are that same number and smaller. So let's take a look at it. Factors are simply what numbers multiply together to give you that number. So usually I like to do my like little worksheet here on the side so I know that 1 and 10 multiply together to give me 10. So that would mean, and I'll list it over here, you list your factors starting with the number itself and then you list them in order from smallest to largest. So I may have some meet numbers between 1 and 10 so I'm going to wait before I list them. Then I can move up and I go 2 times 5. Well I know 2 times 5 gives me 10. 3 doesn't work. 3 times the number doesn't work. 4 times the number doesn't work because you can't use numbers that aren't whole. They have to be whole numbers. So there we go. That looks like I've reached all the different numbers that can multiply together to give me 10. And now I simply list them in order from smallest to largest. And there we go. These are the factors of 10. You list them just like that in order from smallest to largest. Notice that the largest factor is of 10 is 10, the number itself. So when we're dealing with factors, the number itself is always a factor because 1 times the number will always work and then it, they get smaller and this is a finite list finite because we will be limited to how many numbers we have up until that number if we're looking for the factors of a million a million will be the largest factor of, of a million and then there'll be a bunch of numbers underneath it and that will be a set number of numbers now um, for multiples we go the other way. You think word multiplication is here. So you take that number and you simply multiply it by 1. So here we're going to list the multiples down here. The multiples of 10. 10 times 1, so 10. Then we would do 10 times 2, so 20. 10 times 3, 30, etc., etc. 10 times 4, 40. And we can just go dot, dot, dot. And as you can see here, dot, 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 this continues because we can do 10 times 4, we could do 10 times 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 times a million, 10 times a billion, 10 times as far as we can go, and then we can go even bigger. So that's actually going to always be an infinite list. Infinite list. We can go on forever. But notice, again with multiples, sorry, the first multiple is the number itself. And we start at that number and then we get bigger. In terms of factors, the number itself is the largest factor of itself. So always remember small factors are smaller than the number and multiples are larger.